This is Charlie K.O. with Travel Mall TV in Montego Bay at the Caribbean Marketplace with Richard Dumang, who is the Managing Director of Olongo Bay Beach Resort and also President of Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association. So uh, I, I want to trace Richard down because he is such a great speaker with... <laughs> <laughs> but I was more interested, really, Richard, to learn about the hotel your property, Bolongo, and uh, tell us about it, please. Well, sure. Uh, as it happens, uh, just a few days ago, my family, we celebrated our 40th anniversary at Bolongo Bay. We've been on the island since 1969 and uh, took over Bolongo Bay on January 1st, 1974. So 40 years of the same family um, at the same place is uh, not too many of those anymore. It's a great spot, over 900 foot of beach, uh, only 75 rooms, but we have two restaurants, a dive center, a wave runner facility, a beach hut, our own 53 foot catamaran. So we deliver a, I, what I say is we're at a, a five star facility in a two or three star hotel. We're not a fancy place, but every single room has a balcony that faces the beach or is on the beach and we have two of the most successful restaurants on St. Thomas um, from people who live on the island as well as tourists and so when your hotel guests often ask you where's the coolest place to go where do, where do locals hang out and the answer is um, at our place Iggy's Beach Bar and Grill right on the beach voted by a few magazines the best beach bar in the Caribbean and stuff like that so we have a lot going on for such a relatively small room operation what kind of customers from where do you draw? We have a mix of, we have an all-inclusive program that is unlike any all-inclusive program I know. We have 100% a la carte dining, um, extensive premium brand open bar. You could literally have filet mignon and lobster every night of the week if you wanted. Even on the nights that we have buffet events, at least one of the two a la carte restaurants is open, so you can always have a la carte, never have to see a buffet, and that's 40% of our sales mix nowadays. Um, the rest of it is traditional EP, but uh, we are primarily a U.S. market. Almost like most of the U.S. Virgin Islands, we're primarily a U.S. market with a little European and a little Canadian, but, but wait, well over 90% of our market is U.S. What age group or pretty diverse? I mean, I see you have very, diving. And very diverse. We have, uh, uh, again, the traditional demographics here is it's the more mature traveler in the winter time. You know, the prices are a little higher, and they have they're able to take off in the winter time, and that's right. still kind of true. Um, and the summertime, it's a younger crowd. Uh, more weddings and uh, destination weddings and honeymoons take place in the in the summertime. So it's a slight simplification, but mostly uh, older folks, more mature travelers in the winter, and a younger, more active crowd uh, in the summer and fall. Uh, you've been now in the industry, you say, since 89 you took over. I came back to the Virgin Islands. I had worked in it as a younger man, but yes, I came back to take over the family business in 1989. And when did you start getting uh, so active as you know now being president of uh, really president. always my dad uh, he uh, like many many people were not alone but we have embraced the uh, the giving back concept I think uh, we are way above average corporate citizens whether it's locally with the Red Cross and the Boys and Girls Club and uh, Rotary and Humane Society, uh, we were always taught that giving back to the community wasn't an option, it was part of the deal. And so uh, my dad was a, not quite a charter member of CHA, uh, he was a board member for over 20 years, um, he was about a seven time president of the USVIHTA, I was a, the time I've been president 12, about five times uh, oh, okay. of Please the local of the USVI Hotel and Tourism and Association, so we just really always wanted to give back. And, uh, so I've been in involved, I came back in 89 and I think my first marketplace was 1991, two years later. Uh, what does your crystal ball, or even better, your dad's, if he's still, he passed away he a little passed over away. a year ago of what would be the vision that maybe shared with you, yours or your dad's, of what 
tourism will look like 10 to 20 years from now in the Caribbean? Well, I don't think, I think no one knows that because obviously uh, a huge number of experts have failed. But I think the one thing that everyone agrees on is that the global economy has not begun to be over. The expansion of the travel universe will be everywhere. And so one of our biggest advocacy issues, I believe, is to get the men and women in the, and the governments of the Caribbean to understand that what we really should be doing is taking a small percentage of our, um, our energies and our budgets to put it together into a regional marketing fund and to get people to come back to the Caribbean. Come back to the, uh, as you know, we have the website CaribbeanTravel.com. Uh, I think we should put a little bit of our money together and get people to come back to the Caribbean. And then we can compete on which island they go to and which hotel they stay at. But we're not competing against each other anymore. We're competing against the entire planet Earth. And so the Caribbean is one of the world's largest unowned brand names. So let's get them to come back to our part of the world and and then we can decide, you know, fight on where, where they stand. I don't know what the current mix of, uh, of hotels and resorts between all-inclusives in terms of total rooms in Caribbean of all-inclusives versus none. But will, will, will the, uh, is predominantly all-inclusive. The vast majority of all-inclusive is in the Caribbean. Um, and it's a growing concept. If you look at your SEO uh, statistics um, every month on the Caribbean site, all-inclusive is one of e every day, every week, every month, every year. All-inclusive is one of the most popular search words that are ever are, that are ever typed. So Will that be the trend in 10 years from now, 20 I years, think, I don't think versus gonna, boutique hotels? I don't know. I think it's going to be both. I think um, all-inclusive is not going to go away. But I also believe that there is a growing segment of the traveling public that is looking for more unique experiences and more indigenous experience and, and more real. Uh, authentic cultural experiences. So I, I think the the boutique hotel uh, forecast is very strong. Richard Domain, uh, the managing director of Belongo Bay Beach Resort in St. Thomas. Thank you very much. Thank you.